this timeline has 23 minutes of raw footage. How long do you think it took me to cut out all of my mistakes? If you guessed 30 minutes or an hour, you're way off. It only took me just two minutes to remove all the filler words, cut out all the awkward silences and delete every bad take. All of that with just a few clicks using Descript AI. Now for most people that want to start with creating content, this is the part that will be holding them back. And that's not a good thing. Because video editing is so hard, you want to hire a video editor. But video editors are pretty expensive. Like an average video will cost you anywhere from like $100 to $200 just for a video like I have. That's why if you are a beginner in the world of content creation, it's extremely important that you know how to edit your videos quickly and efficient. But the most popular tools like Premiere Pro and DaVinci Resolve don't offer this convenience. It's hard to learn and most people just don't have the time for it. But thanks to AI, you can literally edit your video as if it was a text document. It can cut out mistakes, it can remove the silences, and it can even remove the ums and the uhs. And I just wish these AI features existed like two years ago, because then I bought this expensive microphone, which costs like $200. But right now with AI, you don't even need that anymore. Because what I can do is I can turn this bad quality audio that's from my camera into studio sounding audio like this, with just the press of a button. No expensive equipment needed. Now the tool that I'm talking about is called Descript. I will leave a link in the description below. And in this video, I will show you five of the best features that Descript has to offer to improve your editing. Once you're inside Descript, I'm using the app for this. You can go to a new project. I already have a project that I want to work on right here. And this project is basically a raw camera file with all of my mistakes. And I want to show you how you can edit this easily. So as you can see, this is the interface of Descript. Here we have the timeline. Well, we don't even need that. Now you see, here's where it is so powerful. For example, right here, I'm still checking like my lighting. I'm giving a note to my editor. I have all of these like simple notes before I even start with my video. So I start the video about right here. So what I can just do is I can just select all of this and I can just press delete. And now my video will be starting right here. So within Premiere, you had to go through all of that footage. Then you have to select it. Then you have to make a cut, make a cut where the part finishes, remove that part, and then you have cut that out. That's more manual labor than it is to just edit this document and then your video will be automatically edited. So that is the first feature, the text-based editor. And it's actually so powerful that you can just scan this document, remove all the mistakes, and it will also find like filler words for you and you can cut them out easily. Let me show you how that works. Now, within a usual script, you make a lot of mistakes. Luckily, with this Underlord feature, you can remove all of your retakes. So for example, if we take a look at my script, you can see now you have the conversation with, with this. So I repeat myself as I'm talking because I just make many mistakes like most YouTubers do. Now, what I can do with this is I can just click on remove retakes. Then it will cut out all the best takes and I can just hit submit. Now it starts thinking and now it found all of these parts where I'm just repeating myself. And trust me, when I'm recording my intro, as you can see right here, I'm doing a ton of mistakes. So now you can just go through it. And if you agree with it, you can just click on this then you accept it, you accept it, and then it's removing all of those parts. So you can literally put your script side by side and then you can see if it makes sense and then you can confirm it or decline it. Like if it is a part that needs to be in there, then you discard the edit. So let me just do this for a few takes. Now then if I manually make a mistake, for example here, consistency needs to be removed. I just select the word and then I hit backspace and now that is replaced. So you can go through your entire video just checking if anything needs to be removed in here and then you can submit it and it will automatically be done for you. The AI will detect all the times that you repeat yourself and that you do a retake. Next up you can remove the filler words and the filler word feature is actually pretty powerful because I use words like like, um, so, kind of. I use those words a lot. And if you just want to remove them, you can go over to remove filler words. Then it will highlight all of the filler words for you. And you can just go over them and then you can remove them right here. So you can just say, for example, here, now you have the conversation with, with this. So what I can do here, I can just click remove. It will now be removed. If I continue my video right here then, so you barely even notice that there is a cut there. So it does it 
quite perfectly. You can do so for all of the filler words that you have. You can even say like remove all and now all of your filler words will be removed. It's actually that easy. Like I was surprised the first time I was using this as this is usually the process that's the most brain dead process ever when it comes to video editing. Besides this, most editors also shorten the word gap. So that means that if I leave in a long pause like that, for example, then what an editor would do is he would cut that part out and then it would sound a lot quicker, like it would flow a lot better. So with Descript, you can do this as well by shortening the word gaps. So if I click on this, it will automatically detect them. So for example, here, I'm just staring at my screen and I can just shorten this and then it will continue to go faster throughout the video. Now you can play around with these settings for this. In my experience, I would actually shorten this to like 0.1. So now if you shorten it, it would be way shorter, like all of the fluff is removed because this makes for a faster paced video. Next up, we got studio sound. And for this, I got to go outside. Okay, so I'm walking outside now. I don't know how people, uh, I, I don't know how people vlog, like I've got mad respect for that. Okay, so yeah, I'm not the best vlogger and my audio quality sounds pretty bad as well. Now, here's how I can change that using Underlord. So I go to Studio Sound and then Studio Sound will um, automatically be enabled. And now I can tweak the settings a bit. So the intensity is right now 100%. And then it sounds like this. Okay, so I'm walking outside now. I don't know how people, uh, I, I don't know how people vlog. Like I've got mad respect for that. So honestly, I'm quite impressed. I think the voice sounds way better than with the wind. Some of the words sound a bit strange, but that's usually what I see happening when you have like some kind of AI enhancer on your voice, but it's actually quite decent. If you think it's a bit too much, what you can do is you can change the intensity to like, let's say 50%. And then if I play it again, it sounds like this. It's quite windy outside. So um, I think this would be a good test to see how it performs and to see if Descript can actually take away the noise. So yeah, a bit more wind, but you can tweak these settings to what works best for you. Let's say my audio is totally ruined, like I couldn't save it with the studio audio. Then this next feature will actually save you. What it can do is it can literally clone your voice and then you can override it on your current existing voice. Let me explain how it works. First up on the home screen, you go to AI speakers, then you create a new speaker then you give it a name. Now you need to record with your best microphone possible this sentence out loud. So let me actually do this right now. I want Descript to create an artificial version of my voice that I can use to create speech that sounds like me. I am training my voice by reading the following statement. Imagine a big blue ball spinning in space. That's our earth. On it, there are tall mountains, deep oceans, and huge forests with animals. In cities, people talk, play, and work. We all have different voices. Some people speak softly while others are loud. Every day we tell stories, ask questions, and share jokes. After recording that, you submit it and now your voice will be created. Okay, so now that the voice is done, we go back to projects, then you open up a project where you want to have this change. So let's actually do this one. Now here, what you can do is you can add in a speaker. So you add in your speaker that you've just recorded. And for example, let's say I want to say this might be one of the best AI tools for consistent characters. Maybe I want to change that word to something else. So instead of consistent, I want to say this might be the best AI tool for beautiful characters i don't know why but let's do it so now we click on regenerate and then you will see it's generating that speech and then let's play it it sounds like this this might be one of the best ai tools for beautiful characters so it all depends on how well you've trained the model the better you've trained it, the better it will sound. Now, lastly, this feature is so powerful for anyone that wants to read from a screen on the side of their camera. This is a eye correction tool. Let me give you a quick demo of how it works. The way that works is as follows. So you go to Underlord, then you click on eye contact and now you just click it and it will automatically be enabled. And that's basically all you have to do. So yeah, it's kind of creepy how good it is. And one tip, if you look too far to the side, it won't work. So only look slightly to the side of your camera. Now that I've shown you all the best features in Descript so you can edit your video, there's one more thing you need to make viral videos. You need to have a good thumbnail. If you do this wrong, then you won't get any clicks. Now, if you want to learn how you can make a good thumbnail with AI, then click the video that's on the screen right now and I will explain to you how you can do this with the AI magic.